so how can content because you're a content creator you give you give value out on social media and you're busy you're being and then you're doing well so how can content creators deliver value but also be strategic while doing it in such a way that they come out as the authority in the field so amazing thanks for this awesome question one thing with creating content is is actually a strategy that helps you build your brand that helps you build the know like and trust factor so when it comes to building a brand you want people to be able to know your brand know what your brand is all about you want people to like your brand and you want people to trust your brand enough to pay you for whatever product or services that your brand has to offer so in order to do that you need to first start by knowing who your who your target audience is right so when you know your target audience you need to know the pain points they are going through when you identify their pain points you want your brand to be a bridge that solves the problems that they are going through like that bridge that just closes that gap right that takes them from point a to point b where they want to be so it's with content that you can then build that know like and trust factor because trust me people buy from who they know like and trust people just don't just come online and say oh this product i'm going to buy it they need to know you like you and trust you where so the from? online space is not like it's not like um the supermarkets where you can just enter and then well you can get your product online you need to trust a brand enough before you can invest in whatever product or service they have to offer so in order to do that you need to be able to create content that shows that well you're credible content that will help you build that no like and trust factor so that's where content creation comes in when it comes to building a brand what are some of the things that brands need to put in their brand story so like from, if a brand wants to tell their brand story online what are the key elements or what are the things that must be in place for them to their brand story online? amazing so for a brand to craft a story that compels a story that is convincing they need to have three core elements three core elements right so there's something called the story hack so okay. every story that you've ever read every story you've ever seen or maybe in movies or on social media they follow the story hack right so the first um, element of that story hack is the character right okay. second element is the challenge or problem that that character is trying to scale okay then the last thing is the resolution right so that's how um the whether that's what determines whether the character was able to either scale that problem or maybe they weren't able to scale that problem you know there are some stories that end pretty well happy endings and there, there are some stories that don't really end pretty well so when it comes to crafting your brand story you want to take these three elements into consideration right so know who your target audience is they are the character okay. in your story right know the obstacle they are facing so that's the challenge they are facing and now the resolution should be about how you as a brand can come in to solve their, their problems or their challenges how can someone do a formidable brand online a very strong brand because i see that's what you're doing you're building your your brand and it's very strong your message is consistent your color is consistent and all these things so how can someone build a formidable brand online amazing so in order to build a formidable brand online one thing you want to know for sure is that you're not the first in your niche you're not the first yeah. in your industry so if you want yeah. to come into your industry and you want to revolutionize that industry you want to first take note of those who are there before you right make a list of one to five of them right so we call them competitors I'll just in normal terms I'll just call them similar brands. So sim just right. find people who are doing something that you want to do, the people you want to overtake, right? Make a list of them. <laughs> look at their branding, right? Look at their brand identity. What are they doing well? Right? List them. You can give them, you can even rate them like over 10. Look at their content. What type of content are they pushing out? Is that content yeah. solving a certain problem? list them then look at the complaints that people are making for sure they, sometimes people might be making complaints that oh 
you're not you're not uh, delivering on time, stuff like that. Just look for gaps that you can take advantage of, right? So just look at Apple, for example. Laptops have been in existence before MacBook came. And guess what? People who are using MacBooks, uh, sorry, people who are using laptops are aspiring to get MacBooks, right? True. And Apple doesn't call their MacBook a laptop. It's a MacBook. So that's a product that came and they revolutionized their industry. Why? Because they brought something innovative. They, they, brought, uh, they brought exclusiveness. So one thing you want to do if you want to build a formidable brand online is to study those who have gone before you. Okay, so I said if you were to go back again, if you were to start all over again, if you were to start your journey all over again, what would you do differently? Amazing. I did not have a laptop for a long time, right? And I was slacking. I could have just maybe find, find a way to go to friends and make use of their laptop to progress my journey or maybe just use what I had at that point in time. So if I wanted to start, like, start all over, I would probably just make sure that I use every resources around me to keep on improving, to keep on building my brand till I have enough that would actually... Uh, help me grow my brand. So what strategies will you give brand who want to develop content more who switch their content more? So how do you come up with a lot of content that you don't go out of content? How can brands also use that strategy to make sure they always have Amazing. So the core thing to never running them. out of content is empathy. Yes, I can hear you. Okay. So the key secret to never running out of content ideas to make sure that you always have fresh content to share with your audience is what? Empathy. Know your audience. Empathy. Know the problem they are going through. And then okay. you want to create a content strategy that would make sure that you consistently show up for this set of people. There are a lot of mistakes that I know you see young people who are young people who are just going to the field of that brand. What are the common mistakes that brand common mistakes brand make when you start brand? Common mistakes. Give us give us like three and how to avoid them. Three common mistakes that brand make online. How to avoid them. So um one of the common mistakes they make is just posting about their services or their products, right? Without yeah. offering any form of value. So when it comes to this online space, you can't just be spraying your products or services all around. I was I, like, I, I made this mistake when I started out too. I was just mainly posting about my work and I wasn't providing value of any form. And truth be told, I wasn't growing, no, I wasn't making profits. But as soon as I transitioned from just being a me meeting, oh, I know how to do this, I know how to do this too, hey, you're going through this problem and you can use this content to solve the problem you're going through. It's changed the game for me. So that's one content, that's one problem rather that people often make posting about their services alone and their products without offering any form of value to their target audience. That's number one. Number two is not defining their audience beforehand. So I've come in contact with clients who say, oh, Remy, how are you doing? And Whenever we start our conversation around building their brand, and I say, oh, who are you targeting? Who is your target audience? They'll be like, everyone. <laughs> so targeting everyone is another common mistake. You can't target everyone and want to build a profitable brand. You need to know who you're serving. You need to know who needs your product and services. That way, it's a lot easier for you to tailor your message, your content, in a way that they would be interested and even invite others to be a part of your brand. The third thing is um, them not investing in branding beforehand. So you just going out there with your products. For some people, it might work, right? For some brands, their products are something that people really need. It can work. But if you want to build a sustainable brand, a brand that transcends time, you need to invest in branding, right? So you need to start with a strategy, a clear strategy. Oh, this is who we are targeting. 
this is why we are doing what, or what we are doing, and this is how we can solve a problem, right? So when we take a look at brands that have transcended um, generations, for example, Coca-Cola, um, Coca-Cola, Microsoft, if you take a look at them, they have a mission. Even the brands that are making waves now, for example, Amazon and um, was Elon Musk brand, what is the brand's name? Tesla, right? Tesla. So Amazon and Tesla, the reason why they are still in existence, the reason why they are thriving is because they have a clear strategy. They have a purpose. They don't just come to the market with a product or a service. They have a long-term mission. So that's one thing um, most brands make mistake on. They don't have a clear mission. They just want to sell their product and services. No. You should have a clear mission. Have a story that you are inviting your audience in. That way you can build a formidable brand. Um, do you do coaching and how can they work with you? Coaching. coaching um, for you to coach them. Oh, amazing. So I offer coaching services once in a while. So if you need help around branding, if you need someone to coach you on branding or making sure that your brand is on point, just feel free to DM me coaching and if there's any spots left, I can grant you the opportunity. If you had to say something about the Samsung Lat in the brand, something about Samsung Lat, what would you, what would that be? If you had to describe the brand, Samsung Lat in the, how would you describe it? Um, I say you guys um are caring, like you really do care about your community, because I see you guys um collaborating a whole lot of the time consistently bringing value to the table for your audience. Like, that's, that's really amazing. So, guys, that's one, um, another secret to building a profitable and sustainable brand. You need to care about your target audience. Know what their problems are and know how to consistently bring value to the table. So, Sam Speaks Now and his team, they do well on that, uh, in that area. Thank you so much, Mr. Remy. We had an awesome conversation. I learned a lot. My part, my good part is full. I'm sure our, team, I'm sure our community also had an awesome conversation. Thank you so much for joining this conversation. And we hope we will invite you next time you all will join us again. Sure, sure. I'll be glad to join you guys. Thank you so much, Sha. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. You're most welcome. Have a nice day as well. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you for joining this conversation. It has been an awesome conversation.